Guys, thanks so much for coming in. Stupid LA and breaking up great songs, right? Really good stuff. Thank you so much. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Man, oh man. Ben, Johnny, I, 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 tell me how you got together. I know you were in a band, I think, called Terraplane Run that you got out of. <laughs> we ended up running, but yeah. We yeah. ran from Terraplane Sun. <laughs> oh, Terraplane Sun it was? Okay, yeah, okay. Um, tell me about that experience. Was it like, because you, you realized you wanted to do something else? What's like the funniest thing that happened there where it was a, that catalyst where we're out of here? What was yeah, it? it was, first of all, it was an amazing experience. Um, Cecil was in Terraplane with us as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, and there's some people out here that were actually Terraplane Sun fans. Uh, we hit San Francisco hard. It was a great run, man. We just, we found ourselves in, you know, kind of cliche situation with uh, a bad label. <laughs> bad labels, and, bad record companies. Explain to people because they might not necessarily know what that situation's like. And of course, you want to look forward, you want to stay positive, but it's always interesting to tell people some of the mishaps and the things you go through to get to where you go and keep on yeah, going. Man. It's like getting go a giant birthday present <laughs> and you open it and there's just a like middle finger poop in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's like yeah. generally like, like, damn, this is cool. Yeah. Like, look at this cool glitzy present. And you're like, yeah. it smells horrible. <laughs> What's in there? Ah, yeah, like, oh, don't worry about it. It's right. a present. And I'm like, no, there's poop in there. Yeah. yeah. So, That's a lazy. It's not always poop, yeah. but yeah. yeah, you know what? It was a learning experience. We learned so much. Um, you know, we'd always heard the stories and stuff too. And, you just can't really figure it out till you live it. And unfortunately, that didn't work out. But we, yeah, man, we were left in a situation where we had to make a move. And we were changing creatively. And we just, you know, we kind of woke up one morning and said, let's, let's do it, man. Let's kind of, let's just see what happens. So the Palms was born, I guess. I think that's great. Because, I mean, if you think about the fact that you guys w didn't want any more barriers with the music that you were doing and decided to work on some other stuff, Cecil came with you, right, too? Of course, yeah, man. Guys, right? Hey. And, uh, which I love. Best of the best, yeah. Yeah, you know, um, so he's formed in L.A. And I have to tell you this. I had uh, someone who was coming here said, well, when I looked them up online, the Palms Hotel came up in Vegas, which was one of the best <laughs> bathrooms <laughs> at any hotel in Las Vegas. <laughs> I was like, Speaking of poop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're not we're not quite as big as the Palms Hotel, so the search engine's still favoring them a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Well, you guys will surpass that. Yeah. yeah. Now, all right. You, Thank you. There's people here who have who came in special for you, and people who discovered your song on Kingdom or some of the other TV shows um, that have followed you. And that's the way a lot of people find out about music now, sure. besides the original way, too, which is radio. It's, that's discover music discovery as well, like K-Fog. Yeah, but when that happened for you guys, did you find that you were like, wow, all of a sudden you're, you're getting these inquiries, people checking out the band. What was that, what was that experience like? Yeah, it was immediate. We didn't, we, like, we heard we got the sync. We didn't, I don't think we'd known about Kingdom. We don't have DirecTV. You have to have DirecTV, I guess, right? Or... Our audience channel, yeah. Audience, yeah right. So yeah, we're we're stoked that we got the sync, you know. But yeah, we had no idea what the impact was gonna be like. We didn't know Nick Jonas was gonna cry through the yeah. entire version of the song. So that really changed our lives. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's been. I always. I mean, my one of my personal favorite things is like the perfect song with the perfect visual, and it can change your life. You know, like it can yeah. really be impactful. So yeah, we watched the scene. We're like, whoa. I always kind of felt that song would work in a situation like that. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's great it worked out that way. Yeah. yeah. A big sync, yeah, yeah it, it can, it yeah. goes vi like quickly because people can share the links and stuff like that. So you also, like, you know, you get an immediate res response, YouTube comments and all that. Yeah. Explain too. to everybody what a music sync is and what it, what it means if they don't know. I mean, many of them yeah. do. Everybody's intelligent in this town, I think. <laughs> yeah. You know, but, um, but will you, will you explain sure, that to Sure. Yeah, them? yeah. No, a music sync is when they sync a song to, TV, film, commercial, anything, and using it, you know, as a placement. So uh, there's a whole rigmarole way of it, of how it can get into those people's hands. Sometimes it goes through a sync company. We got a Chili's commercial one time we, through Gmail. 
They hit us up. <laughs> People were like, how did you do that? I was like, Gmail. They hit us on that. <laughs> but, um, thank you, Chili's. Yeah, thank you, Chili's. Um, so, yeah, so it's basically just, it's, it's compi- you know, it's putting the music and the visual together in a way like that. But it's become, okay. yeah, it's become, like, number one, an amazing way for artists to be able to do this now mm-hmm. because there's that income from that. And yeah, just it's a exposure, range, man. Too. It, yeah. it can be completely unknown bands. It can be anything versus <clears throat> people having traction in other mediums to get discovered. A scene can take a band out of obscurity. And yeah, I feel like back. Garden State was like the first movie to like wow. really kind of. That's true. Like maybe for the new millennium. Yeah. Yeah. And Shins and band, you know, bands like that exactly. Yeah. Like, which is great. How did you two meet? Real story? Yeah. yeah. Well, I want the real. I want the real. <laughs> The real story yeah. is so we're both born and raised in Los Angeles, and we have a ton of mutual friends who d- never thought to link us up. So we we met as background extras on an Allstate insurance commercial. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> True story. That's the real. That's, that's the real great, though. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. I saw, I remember, yeah, it's funny, man. He was, like, dressed up for a part, too. I was like, yeah. who is this dude? I was an Argentinian <laughs> businessman. I was so far in the back, blurry, but they named me the it's Argentinian. like, fresh out of school, yeah. Yeah. So, in L.A., it's an amazing way to make money while you're trying to pursue other things, too. It's, like, this yeah. weird niche thing where, like, you can make money and be able to have a free schedule, too. So, anyway, we heard him talking. I over, It was my first job. I ever heard him and another guy talking about... Uh, favorite records of 2010 or something, and I was like, well, you're sitting here for 12 hours, I might as well jump in on this conversation. <laughs> so, and then we exchanged numbers, and he had a record at the time, and we spoke, talked shop, and we met, I think, the next week and wrote a song that's on the first Terrapoint Sun record. Which is really cool. Yeah, so yeah. what were those records? I got uh, I think he overheard us talking about the strokes, but it wasn't well, about, it, Maybe it wasn't about, the it wasn't about 2010. I think yeah. it took me a while to get into the strokes. I, I had a friend that just always kept trying to push it on me and I was always coming from like a blues kind of thing. And then I finally, I got it. I got hooked, but yeah, I think Johnny it's about the strokes and the white chimed stripes in. And it was something yeah. Like the resurgence <laughs> of like good rock right. bands at a time, like how they, maybe how they were coming out of post grunge. Maybe. Kind of I, there's, I like know, he said, I'm like he said, we're on set for a long time. So. <laughs> a lot of crafty. We, we used to do this thing where you have to name as many songs as you can and start with the chorus. I mean, I was like... <laughs> it was, you guys was like, do that? <laughs> yeah. That's great. Well, listen, it took you guys here, and we're really happy about that. And you sound great today. Uh, and thank uh, you, thank you Thanks much. so much for coming. It's, it's really great to meet you, and thanks for coming and doing this with k Fog and hanging out in this very beautiful Levi's yeah. Lounge, an ultimate place, you know? Honor, we're honored, man. Thank you guys for having thank us, yeah. Guys. And thank you guys for coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. seriously.